Hey, pretty fresh. It's the 9th of May, 2018. And, you know, <laughs> I sit down and I start going through um, the comments. And by the way, you know, all you guys, I'm not kidding, all of you. I really appreciate you guys. I mean, so rare does somebody come in here and start causing trouble. It's just awesome to go in and check out the comments and some of the stuff that you guys come up with. I can't find these two particular ones that I saw today right now. I just can't find them, but I remember them. And one was about when the Pope was elected in 2013, which I remembered, but thank you for reminding me of that because that actually turns out to be pretty interesting and the other one was about the uh, fact that um, the 14th coming up here is 233 days from the great sign of revelation 12 923 which if you look at it in the weeks and days it is 33 weeks and two days so it's a mirror of itself 233 three three two and so that to me always spells something so take that for what it's worth but i appreciate that and i appreciate all you guys i sincerely do but it it, got, it led me back here to the pope again and the fact that uh that commenter told us about when he was elected okay this is just amazing he was elected by the whatever, the, the board of cardinals, all that rigmarole they go through. That's fine and dandy. But he was chosen on the 13th of March, 2013. 3 13, 13. Now, <laughs> I know that's not a coincidence, but exactly what it means, I'm not particularly sure right now. But that's pretty incredible stuff because... What that attaches to right here is nuts. When we were talking about uh, Israel becoming 70 on the 14th, right? From 1948. Uh, from the time the Pope here was officially elected on the 13th of March, 2013. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to laugh because this is just nuts. 1888 days now what you make of that is a whole nother story because when i see 888 i immediately think of jesus and the gospel because in the six count i call it the john count jesus gospels 888 jesus alone is 444 okay which in the Strong's is man, there's all kinds of things. Another commenter left uh, the Strong's 444, the man. It's all connected, you guys. Every single bit of it is connected. Uh, exactly how it connects, you know, that's what we do. We look, we watch, we pray, we read the scriptures, and we try to just discern what time it is, mainly. And we know what time it is. It is the end of the game now how long the bottom of the ninth inning goes how much if there any overtime whatever i don't know but i'll tell you what the things that we're being shown how this is all coming together and being revealed is pretty insane so 1888 days from when the pope was elected in the conclave which by the way i have to tell you this where the cardinals go to elect the pope this is that very place this is how they do the pope picking in the sistine chapel in front of the dragon that's what they do you guys okay so there is that and now there's a million other things that link to this i mean it's crazy from the time that he was elected in 2013, remember we were talking about the upper room, how he was uh, up there in the upper room, you know, causing all these problems? <laughs> well, that was on May 26th. And from the time he was elected until that very day was 440 days to the T. And, I mean, I just find that 
just off the hook crazy if I could find it. There it is. From the time he was elected to the time he was in the upper room. 444 days. Here's these four fours and eight eights now. That 888, man, that's that's really weird. But, you know, this is really telling us a bunch of things. I mean, what I, lo I see a lot of the time is what these dark powers and principalities are doing. You know, that was my primary thing is I was, I was given that, you know, I don't know, blessing, gift to be, I, it's like I can see what these wicked people are doing, but, you know, I can't explain it down to the detail, that's all. It's just, it's a spiritual war. So I see it in a spiritual sense, you know, so it's hard for me to articulate. But that in and of itself is pretty wild from his election to the upper room 440 days and it continues you know the 888 days I showed you the 1444 days uh, from his uh, upper room visit to yesterday was 444 and when we get to the 14th it'll be 1449 three years 11 months and 18 days exactly 207 weeks you know that's all significant but I'm not going to dig into the numbers. It's just really strange. I, I don't really get these these date connection, you know, inclinations a lot of the time. But these past couple days, it's amazing how this stuff really is kind of culminating. And a lot of it is right on Israel's anniversary. It just seems to be falling that way. You know what I'm saying? And then another super interesting one I have to show you is one from the last year okay this date right here december 21st of last year now you need to understand this and i've i've gone over this before but i gotta do it again because it's, it's just like little bits that get added in and our understanding just gets more clear but this 144 day span really really strikes my spirit as something meaningful because it is the span between the end of Hanukkah and the winter solstice and all the rituals that went on in that time frame last year. For instance, they burned incense at the temple, okay, in a manner that hasn't been done in 2,000 years. This is, is beyond significant. That is just off the hook in my spirit. That is like crazy. And it's 144 days, okay? Now, this stuff all happened within like a three-day period, the 19th, 20th, and 21st in Jerusalem. You know, it was the end of Hanukkah. There was all kinds of stuff going on. But this was one of them here. And another one, this one here is just off the hook too, was the dedication of this new synagogue. This crazy synagogue. And it took 12 years to build it, and it's directly underneath the Temple Mount, under the Western Wall, under the Temple, where the Holy of Holies was. It's adjacent to it, okay? And they just went all out on this thing, and they dedicated it the same night they did this, okay? I think this one was maybe the day, the night before, but you know how they do their evenings and days and all that stuff. It was the same exact time. And this place, this is crazy. All right. And this is what happened to me today. I'm looking at this stuff. I'm seeing what I'm seeing. And I remember I went over this before, but Ezekiel 8, okay? Ezekiel 7 and 8, I mean, he's, well, 7, he's talking about bringing, you know, judgment, and I'm going to do this, he's going to bring some bad stuff. Ezekiel 8, he takes them in a vision to the temple, okay? And he tells them, so I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things and abominable beasts and all idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. And there stood before them seventy men of the ancients of the house of Israel. And in the midst of them stood Jezaniah, the son of Shaphan, uh, with every man his censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. Okay? Seventy ancients. Okay? Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? 
to every man in the chambers of his imagery? For they say, The Lord seeth us not. The Lord hath forsaken the earth. Okay? I mean, this is just crazy. The 70 ancients and the thick cloud of incense? Well, I mean, there are 70 chairs right here, you guys, in this inter sanctum before their ark, before their... I see it as an abomination. I don't know why my spirit just looks at it and goes, that's wrong, okay? But there's 70 seats here, you guys. You can count them yourself. I'll link this. And the cloud of incense. On the same night, they're doing this stuff. All right? 144 days ago. That's off the hook. Okay? And you had the winter solstice right at the same time. Like I said, all this stuff happened in like this two-day time frame that was just off the hook. The spiritual things that were going on at that time. Unbelievable. And it's just culminating. All these things just continue to build up. You know? So, we just keep watching. All right? And there's a couple more things that are really strange that I thought. Did you know that we just, we're seeing all this stuff about Iran, right? Iran, Iran, Iran. You remember the hostage situation in like 79, 80? I remember that. And guess how many days that they held the hostages? 444 days. One year, two months, two weeks, and two days. Wonder why that is. You don't think that was intentional, do you? And I haven't done any date connections to the hostage situation, but think about this stuff. I mean, all of these things, and it's all culminating right in the Middle East. Jerusalem, man, I'm telling you. And Iran, Persia, whatever. Ezekiel 38. We got Ezekiel 8. We're exposing what they're doing in the dark. You got to remember, it's a spiritual war. It doesn't mean that there's a literal bunch of, uh, you know, dark you know, robed guys gathering in here, although there may be. There probably is, I hate to say. Uh, but there you have it, man. This is a spiritual war manifesting into the natural world. And in order to, like, understand what we're seeing happening, you need to know Jesus. You need the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, it's just confusion, and God is not the author of confusion at all. But this is insane. 144 days that just that one thing just really kind of racks my spirit pretty good but all in all you, i had to share all this stuff and again you know you commenters come up with some of the most awesome stuff and i appreciate you i truly truly do all of you <laughs> peace of grace to y'all okay many fish finally my brethren be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,